ready to go Cause now the countdown has started and he's ready to blow He's got the dope sounds bumping and a stereo He can fast, putting on the show Don't wanna get yourself together, there's no time to rest And if you put the time in, he'll put you to the test He's like the running man in his world war is less And if you wanna test him best, bring your best Don't make me spell it out Bonwa Amina Ga, it's me Ga Kesebeki, I'm your furry EN VTuber and EN VoiceTuber representative, and this is the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, before we begin, I feel like I need to justify myself, because I have never played a Sonic game on stream before, um, because I don't think for the kind of content that I do, the Sonic games would be 
conducive um, to to um, an entertaining stream experience. But I do have a very long history with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, but not as long as you would think at my age. So actually, the first Sonic game that I ever played personally was Sonic Heroes for the GameCube. That was the very first Sonic game that I ever played. Not any of the Genesis or um, Saturn or Dreamcast games. My very first Sonic game that I ever was given with my own money. Not at a friend, not at a friend's house or anything. That I got with my own money, with my own, and played with the console that I own was Sonic Heroes. So... And then after, after that, which is not like part of the, which is, okay, so after that, I played Sonic Adventure 2. I was doing things all out of order. No, 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 no. I just remember something, no. The first game I played was not Sonic Heroes, no. It was Sonic Riders. The first Sonic game I ever played was Sonic Riders. The last Sonic game to be replaced on the PS2, Genesis, and Xbox er era of consoles. Sonic Riders. And then it was Sonic Heroes. And then Sonic Adventure 2. And then Sonic Adventure. I was playing things all out of order. I don't know how it ended up like that, but that's just how it was for me in my childhood. Sonic Riders, Sonic Adventure 2. No, Sonic Riders, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Adventure 2, and then Sonic Adventure. <laughs> I don't know why or how it ended up like that, but it did. But throughout the entire time, I was heavily into Sonic fanfiction and Sonic Music. Actually, the first rock band that I ever fell in love with was Crush 40. But that was only because I didn't know um, any, other, any other rock bands. But my introduction to rock music was the butt rock of Crush 40. Let me show you just what I'm made of now. Yeah, like exa exactly that. Um, so, while I have not ever played a Sonic game on stream before, I do have a strong history with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I just don't think that Sonic games are very good for the stream. Um, and if I was just trend surfing, I wouldn't play this on April 1st, but instead I'm doing it now, long after April 1st, long after the jokes are no longer funny, if they were ever funny to begin with. But um, anyway, enough stalling. Let's go with the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. New game. I might have to move myself depending on where everything is. What this jaunty music? Oh, <laughs> I don't know who this person is. Oh wait, I do need to move my move myself. Um, should I do? Hold on, I might need to do do something. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to hide myself. Hold on. Okay. All right.
There we go. There's my mute. There's my mic. Okay. Mia, did I spell my name correctly? Uh, yes, I know how to spell my own name. Thank you. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Hope passengers can read this, this, um, typeface font. Ponto ni elegante. Dining car. <laughs> uh oh, am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Mia, shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mia, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho! Quite all right myself, though feeling a bit, a little bittersweet. <laughs> Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today is my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. That's longer than I have to live. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. You were just one week away from retirement, and you made it. Hold on, I need to get closer to the microphone. Okay. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plant to consume spagonia locked. All right. This is gonna bring Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Unleashed into this. <laughs> our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. Fa <laughs> ha I can see why his wife is excited. Because he finally can take a shower, I guess. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Me added to the inventory. Express the, Mar the Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> oh, what a smorgasbord. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, the menu is literally just chili dog. Ramen, chicken cordon bleu, those three things. Cool. All right. <laughs> I think we're good to go. I can open the inventory anytime, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I know. I literally just did that. Yes, all right, cool. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on our train is a microwave. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Wow, okay. Crab Rangoon, spicy grilled picky. What is a picky? A pickle? Or is that a small animal? Ding, ding, ding! Glad you could read the menu, okay? Ha 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 ha! A little about the vessel. This is a state of the art, high speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. The train can really, can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train, so we don't have any passengers. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Train accuracy. Train accuracy. It is not the. It is the engineer that drives the train. It is the conductor that collects the tickets. That is a common misconception. Props. To the devs for getting this correct. <laughs> All right, moving on. So I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I can't afford to lose this job. 
I can't afford to lose this job. I gotta pay rent, dude. You sure can. The service pay is lousy. Ha 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 Doors to the Mirage Express are opening all aboard! That's the door. Oh, here they come. Colorful. It's so colorful. I love this. <laughs> I love this. It's Amy Rose. Wow. This train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't make anything. I won't take anything though. <laughs> I'm gonna be stealing everything. Also, she's dressed like she is a Sonic Riders, kind of. <laughs> and Knuckles. Knuckles took Bang's head. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train gift shop? The train station gift shop. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast or characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Mia. You're sweating through your uniform. You only have the one. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Righty, yo, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? <laughs> It's Sonic! Sonic! Wait until I announce everyone's rolls to get food! <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Mia, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk on whoever you like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone is here, mostly. Even Blaze. Blaze is here, but Silver isn't. I call shenanigans on that. Sonic is a captain now. <laughs> but no, whether This is, um... This is Amy's murder mystery party. So they're all, like, dressed up as their characters. The characters are dressed up as characters, but oh man, okay. I'm gonna talk to Rouge first. I'm gonna go, wait, no. Ah, oh, yes, I'm gonna go Rouge, and I'm gonna go like this way. All right, all right. Well, hello you two, what can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am, can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward, let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I see you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> gonna have to, to kindly, gonna have to kindly ask for that back. That's all the money I have. <laughs> oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> may I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. So she's back to being a princess now. Like, is she a princess? Is she in a time-traveling... Warrior? Who knows? She's a princess again now, I guess. Rude is a terrible Rude is a terrible thief now. <laughs> princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Emmy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho, you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. 
Should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? <laughs> oh, wait. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Mia, those are for the guests, you know. Train. Be sure Mia only gets one of those if they ask. Arm. Does the arm just kind of not actually uh, train? The conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat! The snacks look really tasty, too. Alrighty, then. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Oh, um, no, sadly. But I have a plastic grocery bag on the back I could get for you. That stare. Oh, I'm so horny right now. Uh, burr, so cold, I meant to say. Mia, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah, um, we're gonna need to go to the back for a few minutes. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? Especially in today's economy. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting, it's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to her have fun. Before we move along. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We use this wisely. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Espio! Can we please see your ticket? Of course! Like a ninja. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. That's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? <gasps> He's looking right at me. I say Ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, Ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug of that answer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upsetting morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Here's the man, the boy, the lad. I'm gonna take a napkin. Hmm? What's sticking out of this napkin holder? Oh, there's the ticket right there. Billy Levi Charmy the B. Poor Charmy getting left out of the party. Getting left out of the party. I know, right? Charmy deserves 
they left out one. They left out one fourth of the chaotix. One fourth. Vector, Espio, Mighty, and Charmy. There's only been four chaotix members, right? Plus Knuckles. We don't count Knuckles. Because it was Knuckles Chaotix. Therefore, the remaining members of the Chaotix, Knuckle, Knuckles was not a part of Chaotix. He was just the one that led them. So it was one fourth. One fourth of the Chaotix. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to his rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Oh, sick of that to your inventory. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have, might have what you need. Mia, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? This one! Ah, there it is! My ticket! Thanks so much to you both! I was really worried you kicked me on and I missed the murder mystery! Ho ho ho! Oh, Mia here will have the hands full kicking you out. You're right! I wouldn't leave without a fight! Ha 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 ha! I bite them in half! <laughs> Wait, who made me both the microwave expert and the security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. <laughs> Took it, please. Why? Why is he so cold to Sonic? He's like. May I have your ticket? Hey, birthday girl! May I have your ticket, please? Can I see your ticket, sir? And then the Sonic is just like, Ticket, please! Alright. Way, way to treat the one that made this franchise. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. My kids swore you'd swoop in eventually, and you did! I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he. Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Is this blue, white gloved, short MFR? Sonic the effing hedgehog. Is that who that is? Man, I never would have known. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. You all come back, don't you hear? Y yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. <coughs> oh, goodness. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way! I brought my own sparkly jelly with me too! What a coincidence! It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies! Ha ha ha! Absolutely! If you need anything, just let us know. What the hell is sparkle gelatin? I missed some Sonic lore. Thank goodness, someone on this train is normal. <laughs> okay, we call that normal, I suppose. Howdy, can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket? But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. 
train train fail the engineer is the one that drives the train i gave you points because the conductor can collect the tickets that's true the conductor does not drive the train it's the engineer anyway you remember my promise yeah i actually don't How do you know so much about trains? I know that one thing about trains. I know that one, <laughs> one thing about trains, Jacob. Actually, I know one more thing. In Japanese, the bullet train is, the bullet train is called the Shinkansen. That's all I know about trains. <laughs> Those are my two train facts. After that, I'm tapped out. You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this crew seems pretty capable on their own. And train? Assist me if they need any help, won't you? Ha ha ha! That's all I need to hear. You have my stress. Nothing more heartwarming than the conductor and his train. Excellent. Itadashai! I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and assistant for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Mia here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required. It is required for it is my birthday, and I'm the Karen. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain. You'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You will be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. You'll f we'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and SPO the poet, both found in the library. Why is the butcher in the library? Okay. Hear that, SPO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something? Shadow is the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. <laughs> Shadow did it. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be mosing around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes. Sonic is the captain. He's in the conductor's car, which I take issue with. Um, Knuckles is the sheriff. He's in the saloon. Tails is the detective. I forget what he was. Um, Shadow is the locksmith. I forget what he was. Oh, Tails is in the dining car. Blaze is a titan of industry, and Rouge is a business tycoon. They're both in the casino. Victor is a butcher. Espio is a poet. They're both in the library. Shadow is somewhere. He's the locksmith, and he is somewhere. 
Okay, we're ready to go. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Shadow is playing the piano? Okay. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Map added to the inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I said a time for one hour so everyone can mingle, and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Everyone, to your stations. Let's go. This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling! I have goosebumps. Same! Ah, oh, isn't it awesome? <laughs> Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going on and scoping, uh, scoping the place. Scoping the place. Scoping the place out. I just realized she has a small birthday cake on her, on her head. Alright. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy is more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting, inspecting their station and talking amongst one another. What do you think that was? A con? <laughs> um. <laughs> How is that? How is that the conclusion that you drew? <laughs> like, right off the bat. Yep, that tiny birthday cake was a condom. That Amy repurposed. New or used. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky. I decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Alright, spooky music. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What's going on? Ah! I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah! Uh, ah! No! Okay. I'm guessing this is not part of the program? You're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Um. Wow, how exhilarating! I know, the production on this train is astounding! It's definitely more intense than I expected. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach at such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Mia, could you get the door? Of course! Hmm. Seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, get that fallen chef a whack with your Pico Pico hammer! 
She didn't bring the hammer, did she? <laughs> Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over there. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Uh-huh. Suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the, I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives are sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help! Let's get the clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we're sure that Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it! I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are watching and care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex fucking companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Hmm. What all? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. I don't know if I'll become as optimistic as this kid. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I know I really never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I cook a mean cast iron pizza, ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I guess you can cook a pizza in a skillet. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Huh, the wet floor is like you people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spill due to the grocery store, no wet floor sun at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, this is not that counts, I suppose. What's this, a rod? She broke the hammer. Cast iron pizza sounds awful. I don't know. I mean, you can make bread in a pan. Why not a pizza? Just add the sauce and the cheese and the toppings and... Yeah. I bet you could make a pizza and a skillet, probably. I mean, if you made the sauce beforehand, the tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I am not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick is added to your inventory. The shell blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey Mia, look closely at this. An impact! I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's something the shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure this damage wasn't there wasn't here before, but she has too much upkeep. I feel this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. <gasps> I'll keep looking. Okay, dig ourselves out, okay. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me of my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Big spoon or little spoon? Depends on who I'm with. Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? 
attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly, idly while me and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do you have evidence to prove that? Yeah, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. Who proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? This? The damage on the shelf was supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! You have no argument here, you're grasping! Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well... When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Run? I don't know how that relates. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. They call them bad nicks again. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure? Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. All right, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think. Oh, it's a Game Gear. Oh, goodness. Okay. Ready. Oh, my God. This is like... This is messing with my perception a little bit. An idea. <laughs> sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well cap on this time of day, entirely localizing your kitchen, that the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, I... I believe someone's responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh, I wasn't moving for a second. That was close, actually. Mia's Dream Gear. You're right! A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, let's say... A hammer? Ah! This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! You attempted to hit the shelf out of, out of the way, but you failed! You failed, Amy! The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. It says you both said, I tried to get us out of, get us all out with my hammer, but I, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle was ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal to try to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. That was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. There's tiny things here, a little upper grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. It was just that easy. One, two, three. Well, according to my calculations, if you hit the right the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. What a woman. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. That was all totally worth it.
Wait, is that... Gun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> Just <laughs> pose. Sonic, Sonic's death pose with this hat. All is cute. <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> What a whoa, what a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? <laughs> eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense the pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is, he, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no. I don't feel myself panicking. Calm down, Mia. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are watching the camera. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. Something that care to you, Mia. My favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Ha ha! Ha ha He did not say all of that. I need to catch up to Amy Tails and get to the bottom of this. You know this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic and the Hedgehog. My favorite employees that are working here a few weeks ago. Not even a few weeks ago, like a week ago. Hold on, let me, I need to do a thing. Song we play until like a classic Sonic song. Sonic song. Which zone though? I can't place it. I can't place it either. 
I'm not sure if it was like, if it's like just based on like the instrumentation of the original games, or if it's like based on one of the themes from one of the games. Amy, Amy, are you here? I looked around, but I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. What is all really committed to the mystery for Amy? He has nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? <laughs> this is deeper happening here, okay. I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure! Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ha! Fair! As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, this does because, uh... Where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. You vermits, you varmints. What are ye all doing in me saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murders Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. He wondered if he could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I know better than argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Mia, we had to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues. Sounds more pirate than cowboy. <laughs> Come on, ye varmints. What are ye doing at me, saloon? Yarr. <coughs> let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Something's always hidden in the trash. I checked there. This one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. There's going to be something in the trash can at some point. Something might have time tales. Have faith. As as they say, one man's treasure, another man's treasure. Ha ha! I think Tails is ignoring me. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches? Who could have done that? What are you looking at me for? Smash our kids out to your inventory. Okay. 
Mia, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? Mia, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> That's not the color of lipstick Knuckles wears. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. These cups. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Really? That was it? Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Huh. Seems like someone licked all the salt all off them. What? <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> Either someone licked the nuts or they just are unsalted. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. That doesn't, doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Can you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave! Can I take your order? <laughs> Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, just let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Mia, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! I told you to leave me alone. What now? Oh. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I can save. Okay. Alright. I should be doing that. That's in case, in case something goes awry. Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I fight you. Sorry, Mia. I wish you luck. He's not actually gonna fight me, right? <coughs> uh. Knuckles, me and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need to say we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It is? We have evidence too. We do? Mia, just take a good look at our inventory. What was the shredded knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade machine? The arcade machine! Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Think. Think. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm not gonna get this one. Oh boy. Um, you see, we. You have no argument here. You are weak. Ouch. Yeah, let's follow the train of thought again, shall we? Alright. Oh, that was bad, that was bad. That was bad, that was bad. Huh? 
There we go. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Super Monkey Ball is your favorite game. Your hair was found at the crime scene. What evidence do you have that the damage is a punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. It's a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine was, will give us our answer. How are you? I'm on it. Me and distract Knuckles while I fix the Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! <laughs> distract Knuckles. Shoot. No! Ah! No, Tails, get away from the arcade machine. Me and try again. I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. <laughs> oh! Came up too quickly. Moe Kai. The arcade machine is fixed! No! Don't look at the scores! Quick! Look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Vector, Nuck. Nuck was one point away. Toast. Apple, bread, ultimate bagel, candy. <laughs> Shadow does not have the high score. What does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. <laughs> the picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Urgh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! Oh, goodness. Ooh, whoa. And you have nothing. Zilch, nada. Now leave you two. Quick, Mia, let's try again. Shoot. Mother heckin'. Super Monkey Ball is a super hard game, yes. Especially the later levels. In each game. Now Pia, now Mia, Pia, Pia, Mia. What proves Vector was here was, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles?
Okay, um... No! <laughs> I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's time. Um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, ah, uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped down the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out. When we did, we competed for the highest score. When he busted me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade card before you two came in, honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told the bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this film group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups. What are the cups with the lipstick mark? Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential. Not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of our game and left. <laughs> and also had a drink. <laughs> she looked for something in front of her game and then she bolted. Obnoxious that one. But you offered her a drink apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up. I told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Are you not entertained? Will you two relent? I'm, I'm understanding the scenario. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games. Rouge couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually... That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list. Doesn't make sense. Mia, can you take a look one more time? Odd name on the high score list. What is what is Tails talking about? All the other names have a food theme, but this one. <clears throat> Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know me, but there's someone here that goes by that by that title. Charmy B, the ultimate life form. <laughs> There's really someone in here that goes by that? Nothing stinks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here, too. He told us the game was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else left to lock in the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key too. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library that caused Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with, the, with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. Bim, 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 bim. More information I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open a lock for you. Give whoever Kale signed an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I had to bet him when he wasn't when he wasn't talking to us. Well do, Sheriff! Come on, Mia! Let's head to the library! On it! This is way more exciting than Mark Webby Chili Dogs. Hey! Chili Dog! Mia! Coming! The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. 
Uh oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it? How well can it microwave? <laughs> Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got a partner. Onwards. I'm wondering too if Sonic is actually dead or if it's part of the if it's part of the mystery. Hang in there, little child. All this stuff's getting heavy. How dumb what I don't need. Everyone's ready for journalist reporter. Amy Rose is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espionel wanted to give you our presence. Give you your presence. Our presence. My presence? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector. It seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective power needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm... Uh, here to ask if anyone's hungry. Star! I'd kill for a chicken, chicken parmesan right about now. I have quote on blue. That's like parmesan, but with blue cheese and not parmesan at all. And the, and the chicken is stuffed with the cheese, not just sprinkled on top. Okay. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Ugh. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la, dee 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 dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. <laughs> At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Me and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I probably picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep! Where was Rouge? Where was Rouge? We happened to see your lipstick stand on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she led back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and left the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car, through the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. Don't you know that game? Super Monkey Ball? That's one of Sega's best franchises. 
I got so engrossed with the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Have you played Yakuza? <laughs> <coughs> I guess he walked to the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then we turned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Retro came back, you realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. You were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We were sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. You know, if the train came to such a sudden stop that so many things got knocked over, why are the books here in the library still neatly on the shelves? Did they all put them back where they were, or what? what's going on here? And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for ya. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough. We should just, we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Something is always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there is nothing here. Uh, I really thought there'd be something there. Mia, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, I'm all right. I'm sure uh, there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Yeah. We just gotta stay optimistic. I'm gonna check every trash can. Yeah, yeah, okay, these trash bins had a secret. I'm sure of it. I played Phoenix Wright. I played Dongan Rampa. I played so many Finder games, like Finder Detective games. There's always something in the trash. Mia, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. That's the most conventional thing for this. It's funny stuff in the trash can. It is not unconventional at all. It's the opposite of unconventional. That's supposed to be a compliment. Probably. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. This reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Huh. Yeah. The stack of books is here. Hmm. This library is too organized for a place for to be on a train that came to a sudden stop. A globe, of a, a globe of a marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. Jalons are fun and all, but I'd like, love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat either. 
Ah, uh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was like my Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop by the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. <laughs> He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. There's a lot of references to Sonic Unleashed. What game was Begonia Sonic Unleashed? <laughs> I've mentioned it three times now. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere, haven't they? Never played that one. <laughs> Don't worry, a lot of people didn't. That's the one where Sonic becomes a werewolf. A werehog, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, brochures! There are travel destinations there are travel destinations here. Like amusement parks. <coughs> uh, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Man, look at this! Take a look at this! There's a couple maps here. Seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure by the cave too? Look, there's sta stalactites. Stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh, haha. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Chaos Cola. The map of the library. Okay. Not sure where I could garner from that. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of those were knocked down by the train speeding up. But Brutus pulled a lot of uh, pull a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior! I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasy. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this car. Or is that why the books are put back up because of the because of the arm? That would track, actually. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Just leave it alone and do it. Just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Okay, may not be wrong. Okay. A child hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there! Wow, I really need to see this. This little child is hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. And this child can stick to his principles and find strength that I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Oh, a table. Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right, to the, right in the mood to read. I just want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Mia, no, don't fall asleep. It's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder had ruined my nap time. <laughs> I would have one ring. Oh! That's the Sonic Forces OC! They have the gamer hat! It's right there! <laughs> oh, that's the original character of Sonic Forces. 
Oh, yes. Yes, I'm all for this game. Um, anything else I can click on besides the people? Fancy a poem. How about a poem about trains? <clears throat> Locomotive, in motion. I think I've lost my lotion. The window shows me the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored the grumbling tummy. For the eggs I received, I scrambled when I asked for my eggs, Sunny. Oh, wow. Um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. <laughs> Will it be? Can I get a poem about space? Hmm. <clears throat> I am made up to space with my beloved antique vase. But a mistake in my haste dropped the vase in my embrace. So my antique I must now replace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Why don't we look around a little more first? Okay. What else? Shadow supposedly walked to the library car before going into, into, the, into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is at the inventory. Okay. You really mean you need meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confisc confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. For a knife, I'm just a chef with a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hit the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Mia. Why would you tease him like that? And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. Look, Mia, you made him a fool. Come on, Mia, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah, yeah. I smooth things over, but at what cost? I don't think I have enough evidence. I wish I had time to pick them up. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't click on the globe. Oh, wait, no, I did. Check out a book club. Book of the month, Gone Gal. All right. on everything. What else is there? What did I miss? Oh, 
wastebasket. Flipped in those books. What am I missing? everything but I can't interrogate anyone Okay, what am I missing? Bookshelf, doorway. Oh, bookshelf? Oh, oh, there's a hole. There was a hole. I never clicked the arrow. It was right there, but I didn't click it. Oh. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sark needs me, no time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. This cavern needs to do all the book titles exact excitedly. It's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out, fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book only shows in alphabetical order, but this one, 
alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express. The Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it's interesting. Let's make a note of this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Victor and Esper to find out what really happened. <clears throat> okay, so it brings in both of them. So, until you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Me and I are here to confirm two things. Why would you like to go play games with Knuckles and if Espio really was reading in the library car? Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence of neat. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? It wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, I'm being instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered for Knuckles. And that brings our attention to you, Espio. Bruge entered the library car, found something, then left. You say you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Once Espio starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Mia, could you help me out? Alright, Mia, what book do you think Espio might have been reading? Well, it has to be this one. A manual? You think Espio was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Think. Oh, shoot. Oh, whoops. You are both grasping, I knew it. We got this meal, let's try again. Oh wait, I didn't even jump there. Okay, I got this. This is easy, this is easy. Scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone at the very least picked the manual up and put it back in the correct place. This lack of attention to details I normally like you, SBO. Hey now! You're an all-star! Get your game up! Go play! I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet, friendship can form anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Mia, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh... Page 14. 
Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events that can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company isn't just doesn't just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Me, I hit him with another one. Okay, what page do I choose? What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds, and you will be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you are over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this move must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Mia. Let's see if Espio can go three for three. Which page should I pick last? 402! What was implemented to support the conductor, con the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this one. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full speed capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Totally! It's wild you're able to retain all this information so quickly! A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific for me to be guesses. And you both had a nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit that reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no. I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. <gasps> well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one who saw you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. We have evidence to back it up. Mia? He always puts me on the spot. What can be a thing? We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw SBO reading. But what? Shadows lock? Please, Fatal, what this what this has to do with anything? We're at Mia. Let's get our argument together. Shadow's been placing locks, then he must have seen you reading too. Whoa, wow. Okay. I just realized. Oh, is this Espio throwing the shurikens? Made it. Give us another go. Shoot. Oh, 
Oh, no. Mother of the Lord. Oh, I've got hit by every single... Every single shuriken at the last moment. Yo, you suck. You suck so much, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Shadow walked to the library car to get to, this, get, to get to the saloon car. We set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the, in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know that Shadow had to walk back to the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't know the Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I can sense that Espio's inspiration here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So, if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the, in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Mia, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book that I didn't know Shadow passed back through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death. So I ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for sure to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I don't see it. Was Epio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the, to the library car? What should I do? Huh. This is a question. Hold on. You will decide what to do after these messages. When I come back from a quick party break, Show so much to say.
All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Mia. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to defend Espio because I think it's an honest mistake. He answered enough of the chain questions to make me believe that he was actually completely absorbed in the book. I just honestly didn't know his shadow walking back through, walking through, locking and unlocking doors. I have to make sure I guess they're taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails! We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. All right, my fellow associate, lay it on me. A piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. The map! It's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map, it's the map. My thoughts in order. Hmm. Oh, crappy! Feels so close. Do another go. Okay. Oh, I was standing directly in the path of the spikes. No more! Stop! Okay, got it. Any number of reasons, Jacob. Maybe they're asleep. The library map. The library map? Oh, oh, I see! See the exits? They're running across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down the straight path as the way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you have to point out exactly on where exactly on the map you mean. What could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Not quite. How did I see Espio's good walk into the library car? What would Espio have to have been seated? Not quite. Oh. Not there either? Not facing that way. Here. I'm sure I wouldn't notice if Espio was climbing one of those. <laughs> I ain't walked to the library car. Shoot. Okay. This is huge. Yeah. I mean, it would have to be one that's not facing. That's not facing. Because this is the straight line here. From here to here. He would have to be, like, not facing away. What haven't I clicked on? Interesting. That's why I was sitting reading my book. Really? I second this. When I, when I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from the spot because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never, why you never mentioned Shadow's return. It's just this way you, you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. 
You know, the bar isn't the most airtight, but I have no further questions. Thank you both for answering all of our questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis! Validated! Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh? It seems the doors to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through here earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SBO. Give him heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word! I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murder is on the loose, while our doors keep getting locked. Tick tock goes the tick 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 cock. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point I'm feeling pretty confident on detective abilities. We're really doing this. Yeah, as long as I keep being able to click on random things to get to the right answer. We are good. Come on, Mia, let's see what's next. Coming! You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Let's go! I wonder what this theme is based off of. Well, this is getting heavy. I don't what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. <laughs> you visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Fuck to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the Markgrave Master with you. Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tales is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. A treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about the treasure in the interview. So I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. All right. Well, it's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. That sounds kind of dope, actually. But please don't tell me you accept the Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She wrote me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I had to the Fabergé Chow egg is here, and this train car locked in the safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you take a look? 230401. I found the train's blueprints in the library card with a safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime! The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let's see that! Uh-uh-uh! Find us keepers, sweetheart! There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? I kind of like that Rouge and Blaze are together. I'm really into that. Or at least partnered up together. The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow Egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's, with everyone's help. So, you want us to help you steal the Fabergé Chow Egg? More fodder for the shippers! Hell yeah it is! <laughs> Silver and Blaze ain't going nowhere. So vase, Blaze Silver, whatever the kids are calling it these days, that's not going anywhere. So is Blazuge now. That's 
that's the hot new that's the hot new thing let's go for it please you don't have a problem with this i see no issues here this is like a fine business venture uh her low car must be influencing our decisions here either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess mia do you have an opinion on this stealing this for squares <laughs> It's time for a five-figure discount, yo. Well, I suppose if Blaze and me are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's our ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move myself a little bit. Uh, actually, I can I can move myself like over over here where there's nothing of consequence. There we go. Um, access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Distract the guard. Distract them! Perfect! We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Thank you, Rouge. Mia, is everything okay? I never see you smile like that. <laughs> Rouge has called me cute, dude! Let me have this! Seeing as I don't know how to take a compliment. I'm gonna be in a casino my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I mean, Rouge is the obvious choice. Of course I distract him. Who can resist my... Feminine charm? My single polygon. I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being in the structure makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Who's the structured security guard? Well, if that's the case, the one person who can't fly. Although Blaze kind of can fly. She can sure you can up into the air with her pyrokinesis. Think you think you could distract the guard, please? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. <gasps> All right, Blaze, take it down a notch. You're at a murder mystery party. Chill a little bit. <laughs> Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Ask the chow about their partner and kids. <laughs> I love the non-gender specific term partner. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect! I think we can move on then. <laughs> With the card distracted, Rouge, how you get the access card? Grab them and flap the rafters. Pick their pocket. I mean, you are a thief. I'll slash the access screen, no problem. That child uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge. You don't have to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises! With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Mia, what's your plan? Seems like without a coaster, push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse! I'm really into this, yes. Then you'd be married into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I... Um, you just far too plain. 
you would need a complete refashioning immediately. Um, you know what? Maybe we should try something else. All right. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You give up far too easily as well. We have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. <laughs> On all the rails. Weren't, weren't we trying to find out who killed Sonic? Wasn't that the whole point? Oh! Oh! I get the whole picture now. Alright, anyway. All right, moving on. Um, I, I, I suddenly, I suddenly like everything. Everything already pieced itself together so far. Um, I get the whole. I, I get it now. I know. I know who did it. <laughs> I know it's an April Fool's game, an April Fool's joke, but um, I, I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> Alright. It was a drink with a coaster. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great. With the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we can make it to the elevator. Inside, we... Sing victory a cappella. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no! One less security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five each of them. <laughs> the end of the end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands will survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humor my, humor my suggestion. How are they polite of them? <laughs> they do my mechanical arms. <laughs> Tie them with one big knot. My shoes don't have places. Does anyone here know how to tie a knot? Yes. Well, no. Um, I can, but I gotta sing a little song while I do it. <laughs> I'm gonna step in here and veto this. Let's think of something else. So I didn't want to hear my song. <laughs> 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 tails disabled him. Yeah, let's go. This is not what Blaze what Blaze's personality is in any of the games. Even in even in um Sonic Rush. For the that was on the DS, right? Not the Game Boy Advance, but the DS. Yeah, that's not even what she was like there, where she was the only game where she was actually a princess. Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Two. I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Taylor is taking a while. Tails is taking one, the arms are tightening their grip! Cry, I hope they sympathize. Imagine you're not in pain. Tails managed to do it! Darlings, I'm happy to see this plan is perfect! If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. Oh, we just did the whole plan in one fell swoop. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made this, made this far without you both. You had my gratitude. I played it before and was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Enough talk. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's keep a forever day chow egg. <laughs> What could they 
possibly be storing in all of these. This is the casino car. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings, too? Rings? You can find those things lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. Let's focus on the real prize, shall we? Right, we gotta find the safe with the Faberge Chow egg inside. No question, this has got to be the safe without treasure. Enter the code and the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 23, 4, 1. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone else, before anyone sees us, let's get out of it. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spin it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to his secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb. I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of this, that egg now. Dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge. Fine, fine. What do we do? Where do I put this thing? In my... Oh, wait. <laughs> that's, that's an excellent question. What, what do we do with the bomb? Um, um, throw, throw it a lot the same. Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine, it's, back, it's going back in. Tails are safe from lock, the door's safe open. What? Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to? We don't have time to mess with this. Think of something else. I blow shit like on fire. Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosive shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Mia? Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> many, many people have said this to me in my life. Chaos control the egg away. Where did she hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos animal to be able to do that. Well, dang it! Um, okay, uh, uh, uh. Twist the egg again. Great idea! Oh, that, that was it. Okay. Oh, it wasn't it? Stop, stop. This clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Um, tell the egg to stop. Stop! That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, let it finish checking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Mia. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but... What if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right! Mia, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spread it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... It's been just something about... Something interesting when we quizzed quiz him about the train's manual. The point, the train's manual quizzed. All right, I'm clearly drunk. Okay, um, what extremely efficient and accurate technology is installed to assist the train? Being missing from a variety of tasks, I'm supposed to be able to trust and match with afterwards. Also, the type of weapons are exposed to being brought to the train. Oh, right, yes. That's a callback! Those robot arms that are trapped in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. 
for bombs being bonded to a train disguised disguised as Fabergé child eggs, the arms would have detected it, would have detected it, and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he sure wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg! It opened! It's hollow! Not a bomb at all! You both really were onto something! Phew! My, my. Plus one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right! Thankfully, we didn't explode! Eee! And look what's inside! A Fabergé Chow! Wow, look at that sparkle! And it's so heavy, too! The final secret of the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems! It's perfect! It's exquisite! It's revolutionary! Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know, who cares? I have treasure! What a precious treasure! A beauty to behold! Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we spot it. Good call. Let's go. Wait. I need to... I need to do something. No one seems to suspect anything. The security guard is back at their post. Okay. Hope this will do the dream coaster, the dream coaster feeling, okay? Thank you both, thank you both for your assistance. That home was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was... strangely fun? I might be a kleptomaniac now, but I prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bizarre chow. Bedazzled chow. This isn't gonna... I'm a little bit off center now, but it's fine. Let me move a little bit over here. Okay, there we go. Uh, get rid of that because it's annoying. Red, okay. Alright. What? What? What is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you've done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, they appreciate your assistance. It is, it's as I said, finders, keepers. I need them a little longer in case I miss any other treasures, but I promise that you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. Actually, you can. But I don't think there's any reason with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. You have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rude one of these. He passed through earlier. 
me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. We also have had just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. As well as I'm not, both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Mia. Let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Oh, really? There was, there's no interrogating them or anything? The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. That they are. Dr. Eggman's, Dr. Eggman's brought a lot of casinos to run around in. I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Want to play blackjack? I don't know how to play that. It's easy, let me show you. Mia, we simply don't have the time for this. We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. <laughs> Should I get the slot machine to try? Yes, play the slots. Alright, let's see. Big money, big money! Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yeah, let's play the slots. Alright, let me see. Big money, big money! Oh, I lost. Do I try again? No, move on. I respect your restraint. Haha, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> hmm? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he does do a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that's always caused a lot of trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm. Every poker ship I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. So I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Do you think you'll go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her into my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino bar and went searching for the blueprints. I walked back to the library and saloon car so I found it in the library car. Do you see Sonic at all during your travels? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to, to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase down Sonic, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Pulling off the house is much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I take your order? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole, maybe the egg is a bomb? The whole, maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very, um, animated person. Wow. Thanks. Don't, don't look at my flop sweat, okay? Ready for some hold'em? I don't know how to play that. I don't know how to play either. I Maybe mean, we simply don't have the time for this. Probably a good point. All right, let's go. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do this. Lounge car. Now is a good time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as it's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I No reasons convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey! What's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. 
I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lied to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Mia, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Mia. All right. Key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. See, the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can you print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. But I won't let it stop me. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quality set this back on the printer. <laughs> that was indeed Sonic rowing a boat. He told us about this in my interview. The launch is a computer complete with an internet access for a casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Yeah, that's for sure. You're doing a murder mystery on a on a on a on a lounge in a lounge car on a train. Yeah, you probably missed some paperwork or something. Hey, it's the big chow band! Give us a jam. What was that? That was spiritual. No, it wasn't. I feel we are reawakened. They don't miss. Those shall understand music. That's... <laughs> I'm being gaslit right now, aren't I? Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. It's spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering, lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Tails and I are besties! Mia, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Alright, I'm agreeable. Alright, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust! You opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere! <laughs> oh, there's nothing there. Alright. There's another robot arm just doing his thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell us to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five. It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Take a beat. Visit Music Plant Zone. Presenting Big Child Band. Take a beat. Uh... Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. 
For all we've revealed in due time, I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear the sharing is caring. No way! Journalist reporter Andy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Do not be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems, she seems confident. We'll hold you to it. I'm not ordering a single thing until we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get fun on dinner and I can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. It's a trash can! Tails. Tails! No. Tails, I think we should shut the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Mia, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Mia? There's always something in the trash bin! <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you shut the trash bin. Crumple paper is added to your inventory. Can't move on to inter interrogate Shadow. Guess you were. We're taking back to investigating. Did I miss something? Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here actually. Mia, we certainly will not. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. I'll take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining car, I whipped that right up. A coffee on a train. There's no better combination. Some marshmallows will make it perfect. Sure. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. <laughs> you pin something. Song, singing song. Hang on, I think I remember which bit, which button to press. It's really that complicated. Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? Fair enough. That's actually a little bit too real. That's the OC again. And there, work like a charm. Here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I love uh, quality to this back on the printer. What? What? There's nothing else. Tails, do you see this? Oh! A pull string? Mia! What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe open. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh, it's just a secret, pa secret passageway. Don't worry about it. This is the library. This is a secret passage from the lounge to the library. 
I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. Oh. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage. Okay. So you didn't need to go to the cars to get from the library to here. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Why did you come over here? Shadow, we have questions for you. We used to be get out. I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to, appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why! Hey! Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so no one no one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They remain anonymous, anonymous, but I think the point stands. My Swiss claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Fake news. It's the logic sound, though. Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car and imprison Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think me and I can explain the car change, however. Mm. Mia, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Secret passage? Okay, just let me get my dots in order. Chaos Spear! Oh! Ooh, just close. Thought I had it. Give it another try. I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library card. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library card, while past the destructive boys playing in the arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Mia. Hmm, this suggests my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the, in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Should have picked up Sonic, left the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off the dining car. 
Are you officially accusing Sonic Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Tim Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espion Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Mia, do you have any guesses? Espion and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Either one of these, really. Vector was with Knuckles. That's true! Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See? Things are falling into place! But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. <laughs> Espio reading in the library checks out, and that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Victor that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Oh my god! Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? Ugh. If you must know, I need to give him a key. As if, or would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Me and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Whoever we'll supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away. This key ring. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. 60 rings this time. Oops. Whoops. Let's try that again. Oh, crap. That actually takes a fair amount of focus. <laughs> At least for me. This is why I don't talk that much. Um, there's only one reason there's exactly two keys in that ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I had my own key on me. Tch, interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly have presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent of Sonic's murder? I think me and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <gasps> Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Mia? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Stationed in the cars a key, except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Mia. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. 
What? Excuse me? Shayna would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Tch. How dare you? Mia, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Oh, okay, okay. Shadow was thinking Shadow was trying to keep a keep just Amy away. Why? Whatever it shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know. Concert tickets. Think. Oh, crap. Okay. I need to jump. Nuts. Let's give it another go. Stop obstructing justice, Shadow. found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> ah! This is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is uh, my current favorite. All of the members have B after their name. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of the shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. Like Taylor Swift. So the question becomes, what was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Taylor's figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey tickets the hot honey bands tick website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Tch. I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. <laughs> I don't I know I know a team with the a bee, a crocodile, and a chameleon that is Perfect for dealing with rooms that have computers in them. Uh, I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder, spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Wait a minute. That's it. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social, social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas when I saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey alive and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets were actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? 
Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited for the buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here, somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. The key opens up any door on the train. I've gone through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow Eye, it just sure is so sweet. And after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if, uh, too late is happening. Yeah, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Uh, fine. Oh! Shad Amy confirmed! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's confirmed. The murder Sonic and the Hedgehog confirmed. The Shadow X Amy. The Shadow X Amy. <laughs> Pairing. Wow, Mia. Mia. What? What? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Listen. I kid you not, when I tell you, I spent so much of my teenage life in the Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction community. Shad Amy was one of the biggest pairings, and it's finally been confirmed, kind of, in a way. This game is canon, but also not. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures in the concert, you two. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who was the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shut, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <gasps> but we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this due to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Me, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then. Let's do it. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. I just wanna live while I'm alive. It's my life. <coughs> you know, Bon Jovi sung that, sung that song for the very first time I ever heard it was in a Shout Out the Hedgehog the game that came out in 2005. A music video on YouTube for with that with that song. That was the first time I heard Bon Jovi's "Now or Never." That's the name of the song. What was it? What was the name of that song? But it is like that that one. It is Bon Jovi. Wow, this is a weird conductor's car. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. My short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels... empty. 
Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. As we saw him was when, the, when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on! Shadow is so cool. <laughs> we gotta do it. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say I always hit the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. <laughs> what a character arc I've had. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. 32 years. 32 years. That was... Yeah, 32 years would be 1990. 1990. Okay, Google. When did Sonic the Hedgehog for the Genesis come out? That was three. Okay, Google. When did the original Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis come out? Sonic the Hedgehog's initial release date is June 23rd, 1991. Ooh! One year to, one year to, um, one year to early. Uh, my assumption. But wait, 1993. No, that would be... Oh! It would be! This is his 32nd birthday. I was thinking, um... I was thinking 2000... I was thinking 2022 was still the year, but we're in 2023. So yeah! 32 years, it checks out. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> oh, the arms aren't working anymore. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of his grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? You can hear this, your armpits stink. <laughs> Start beatboxing. Mia, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just, uh... Off my guess of musical entertainment. That was impressive, Mia. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I don't know if these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I watched a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being someone the next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. Would have been better if they actually just sung there. <laughs> <laughs> a full three minute song. The high quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all, perhaps too much detail. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access any, every function on the train like the conductor can. 
Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I will completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Ah, uh, guys! Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's this say on the mug? A cup of joy in your hand. Wife by your side. Paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. <laughs> Give it a rest already. What's this? A oh, whoa? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Oh. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. <gasps> Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart out to the inventory. I think we find enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Will you two think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, me? What do you think? Man, what did I call myself? Ready to solve this case? Yes. Hello, everyone! This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Is this actually everyone except for Sonic? And Shadow and Tails. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Mia. Why hasn't Sonic, Sonic shown up? Vector! Real quick, can you come, come with me to get Sonic? He must still be, be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready! Let's go get him! Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. If you're willing to do an event like this again, it says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha! Uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what in the world? That That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Ugh. Why is his hat still like that? He, he's not responding to us! Sonic! Sonic! What? Is he hurt? Why is he moving? Sonic! Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. There's a pulse. It's weak. Set him down. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. 
Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish someone responsible. Sonic, he really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm running my wrong. I must take down the murderer. It's kind of obvious who the murderer is. The quote-unquote murderer. Um, Tails, Tails, Mia, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, none of the people here. It was none of the people here. It's actually none of the people here. I know that in my heart. Okay, can we just take a pause right quick? Can we take a pause right quick? I'm gonna let you know like what what my what my theory is. Based on my based on based solely on my history as a Sonic fan. It was Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman is the conductor. Eggman many times has disguised himself um and snuck his way into um snuck his way into Team Sonic. Most notably the one that comes to my mind is it wasn't Sonic Free Riders. It was the third Sonic Riders game, the one where they didn't have any animations for the cutscenes. It was the one. It was the one for the. I, if I remember correctly, it was for the, um, for the Xbox Connect. I think it was that one. It wasn't Free Riders. It wasn't for the Wii U. It was either for the Wii U or for the Kinect, or both. But it was the third, the third Sonic Riders game. It didn't have any cutscenes in it, any animated cutscenes. Um, Eggman disguised himself as like a, a racing, an, an air gear entrepreneur. But it was just like a fat robot with a beard or something like that. Um, that I immediately remembered that um, when I remember what the conductor looked like, um, he kind of had he kind of had his like face hidden a little bit, and he kind of had like the fuzzy the fuzzy chin, like he was a dog, but he could not have been a dog. That might have just been like his mustache, the ears could have been the mustache. Oh no, it could have been it could have been Eggman. That that's my that's my theory here. So I'm just putting that up front just to say like um that's why I think like it's none of the people here. Hold on. Someone okay, that's what that was. Okay. Um, Alright. Anything? This room who killed Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh I don't think it was anyone. Um but let's think here. If it wasn't Dr. Eggman, who would it be then? SBO the Ninja? Rouge is Thief, Blaze the Power Kinetic, Knuckles the Gliding Person, the Gliding Echidna, Vector the Strong Guy, or the guy that can use Chaos Control. Let's cut to the bottom of this motivation, remember. Shadow was locking on the door so I wouldn't see him buy me a gift. Sweetie, let me think again. Who in this room did it? That can't be right. Ninja Tails and I can be the murderer. Let me pick again. I don't see it. Care to explain the reasoning? Oh, well, um, 
I'm put on this on the spotlight. This is hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. All right. I don't see it. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll pick someone else. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic. That was my first guess. Weren't you? <clears throat> I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What? What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. We think Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in a library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Mia, could you fill everyone in? What do we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a secret passage. Espio could have left the library any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits between behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I've used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Mia and I could explain that too. Mia? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a poet, so a quick reader. Espio is a poet. I feel such a professional would make you quite the reader. Mm. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm right, Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right! Espio would have... Espio would... How would Espio have even known it was there? You said to yourself, kid, you were lucky to even find the passage. Me and I wouldn't. Me and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. Mia? Who here has the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. They told us we could see something later, and now it's the time to take a look. They told us we could see something later, and now it's the time to take a look. Oh, wait. Rouge! We need to see those blueprints! Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used to discover for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever, I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Mia, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the, the blueprints? I'll keep calling them blueprints. Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I, ch I checked the saloon car first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. 
Within Amy's guidelines, a murder can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but me and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure of how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but me and I have the evidence on how it was done. <gasps> oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murder Sonic, how did I do it? Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus! You're close, Mia. What would Sonic do? Think? 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 Oh, about the 60. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, it's okay, let me try again. No, that's gonna happen. Not even less. I need to get that trail at the beginning. Blowjot was found here in the conductor room. Ugh. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blowjot would do. According to Amy's rules, a blowjot comes as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining room? Ah, shoot, that's a good point. Patels was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Me and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece, of, what piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Sonic. The 
blueprints. All right, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Mia. Think. Think. I'm thinking so hard right now. Whoops. That's probably gonna screw me over. Oh, you are just the worst person. Big oof. Seven years ago. Oh, I should have taken the opposite one. Oh, shoot. All right, let's take a look. If Vesper didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? <gasps> there there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. <gasps> huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there. The vent, of course! That must be the entrance of the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back there, and a track. A track? Uh huh. A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path that arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying. I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both can fit up there. Espiel's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name is getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Now to think about my argument. You can do this, Mia. You can do this. Okay. One more big thing. so much concentration just to get to that point oh no oh no all right if I get hit by spikes it's just no good all right Focus, focus, focus. All right, that didn't work.
Oh, okay. Almost, 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 almost. the heckin ring capsule oh you suck you suck you're terrible you're awful so far. I got even less. I was about to cheer, but I got like the least amount of rings I have at the finish line. Okay. Okay. It says like a path I need to take. so much less now. so high for this okay death
right under the wire. That's the way I like to do it. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here. One of these robot arms was a casualty. Yay! But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there was a track the robot arms used that continues through the vent. A robot could a robot arm could have grabbed Sonic and passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit there are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. <laughs> what kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Amy! Amy! You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're... You're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. We found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio. Huh. No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said. Uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in the room with the hidden passage? Gah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days! I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! I'll make you eat those words! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! <laughs> oh man, what a twist! It was the ninja the whole time! Hey guys! Sonic! You're okay! Going full Ace Attorney there. Sonic! And just as we solved the mystery, Espia was the murderer! Right. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's not lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. Oh wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The trains are bad, Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I had to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train is powered by a Flicky. A Flicky? The tiny animal? 
There's only one person twist enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman! I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it it's more than a simple bad nick. The conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Mission! Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Whoops! Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. <gasps> hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail as it was on. Wow, I may see if he was able to do any of this poison. But well, another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Okay, so I was wrong. The conductor was not Dr. Eggman, but Eggman is involved. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious, why not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? Useless blow dart on Sonic station in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for you choosing the Mirage Express. What is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic. Yada yada yada. Thank you again. Yada yada yada. I already read that. What is this? Instructions? I was giving him the blow dart along with that card. It's signed Stav. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who? Or what? Mia, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? Conductor was attacked by the robot arms. I thought he attacked himself on purpose. While it could have been an accident, I have a different theory. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture for a good while, so I think the train itself is potting something. Okay, I was still going for my own theory. <gasps> First we learned the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tamping in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself! Amy! It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I am with you, Amy! This train can have it! <laughs> There's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Mm. Mm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. <gasps> Is the train talking? Yeah, why shouldn't it be able to? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. You were right, weren't we? We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? 
I am taking all of you to Eggman's base where you will rot Eggman after I deliver you annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough! The train is picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah! <laughs> A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh. My head. Tails. Amy. Ugh. Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic! I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hang it in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where is everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog? Asking about me? Yeah! I'm doing amazing! Wow, amazing, huh? You have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have over overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Alright. This, that yellow glow is chilling. I miss it when it was just showing us the weather. <gasps> well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerves showing up here, Egghead. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you spiky blue pest. Seems you finally take a passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, knowing that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement is a well-known civilian. The infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, those problems would need sorting out. So, I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess. Another deck egg, death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres is science! Let's cut to the chase. We're our friends. Judging by my security cameras, the pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite uns upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up! I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the compatibility of a bad nigga is normally very basic. Just kill son of the hedgehog! But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without his supervision, and report to me if any of you happened aboard. The train's compatibility of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius! So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You are on a train that desires nothing more to deliver you all to me. See? I got to thinking. I need to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bandits compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So, I instituted a bounty upon my army of bandits. First, the capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. <gasps> the train wants to deliver us to Eggman. For reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train? It may ask for something more interesting. 
as much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base and regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could del deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I... I get it. The world's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those deep before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay! We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, let's speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back! Wow! If one big wind up sunk, spin dash was fast enough to get the door open! Heh, <laughs> now that the road is clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Give me a second. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. I don't know how much longer there is to this. I thought it was just gonna be like an hour and a half long. Because this is an April Fool's game after all. But it's actually like not super involved, but more involved than I thought it was going to be. So I'll be stopping here, and we will be continuing this on Monday. My next streaming day will be on Monday. Hear me, Monday. That is eight, nine, the tenth, the tenth of April, Monday. Um, join me at. 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, April 10th. We'll be finishing this up. Um, so yes, thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Um, this, is quite the, this is quite the experience so far. A murder mystery with Sonic the Hedgehog. Who would have thought that this is the, the second Sonic game we'll be getting in 2023? Um, so yes, thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Do you have something else in case you finish early? Yes, papers please. Um, if um, we finish early, we will be doing um, papers please. I still have that on the docket. Um, so yes, thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Please follow if you haven't already said you don't miss out on awesome content. And until next time, ja mata. Bye bye, farewell, kiss kiss smooch smooch. Watch out for those bed bugs, they are deadly!